Teamwork makes the dream work. Uh, teamwork makes the dream work. This uh, truth that we're sharing with our kids at our day school uh, this month here at Trinity. Teamwork makes the dream work. And so I don't know if you ever heard that said. I don't know if you would agree with that. If you ever experienced true teamwork making the dream work. God created you and I to be in community with each other. In fact, Jesus prays that we would be one with each other, that we would know how to be good teammates, that we know how to be good teammates. When I think about being a good teammate to make the dream work, right, I'm reminded of situations in my life where it'd be easy for me to, to kick people off my team, right, to say, I no longer want you to be around me because I don't like how you're acting, I don't like how you treated me, right, but I'm reminded Right? Teamwork makes a dream work. I need to be in community with each other, with others. And what I know to be true is nobody's perfect. Every single relationship that I've had in my life, that I have in my life, I've had to apologize to that person. Or maybe they've had to apologize to me. Right? And so at the essence of teamwork making the dream work is forgiveness. And so as we're into this new year together, it's the middle of January, I don't know who it is that you need to forgive in your life, to offer grace to, to show more patience to, to seek to understand more. And I don't know who it is in your life that you need to apologize to, to be humble, to say those magic words, I am sorry. Who is that? Who do you need to forgive? Who do you need to apologize to? And I ask that question right, because teamwork makes a dream work that is true. Right? Two are better than one. I think of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, right, how powerful that community was. You can read more about that in the book of Daniel in the Old Testament. Right, I think about the disciples, two by two they would go off. Right, God always wanted us to be with others, and we can't be with others if we can't forgive and if we can't apologize to each other. Right, and so again, the question today, it's on my heart and I pray it's on your heart, is who is it that we need to forgive? Right. Jesus had many questions asked of him and many questions that he asked of his disciples. Right. In Matthew 18, Peter asked Jesus, Jesus, how many times am I supposed to forgive my brother? Right. How many times? Right. Jesus answers him. Right. You just need to forgive him over and over and over again. And so may we forgive and may we be forgiven, not just from Jesus in this relationship, but with one another. So may you be blessed. May we continue to share Christ's story of love and how we forgive others and apologize to others. Have a great week.